I'm just still completely amazed at the her heroic nature of our police department. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley couldn't say it enough Sunday. Six city officers are heroes. Just watch this security video. You see people scattering up 5th Street and running inside on the left of your screen, leaving a bar patio. You will then see two officers run around the corner and out of frame. As more people run up the street, three more Dayton officers round the bend, and you see them with guns drawn, firing from a distance. A sergeant with a long gun comes out from behind a police cruiser at the top of your screen. Then there is another video. This one shows the moment police stop Connor Betts. We aren't showing you exactly when he shot outside this bar, but you see him come from the right side of the screen, and that's when we'll freeze it. What you've just watched is in nearly real time. Uh, it was extraordinary that they were able to respond so quickly. As a result of uh, the police's actions, uh, my daughter and hundreds of others uh, who were down in the Oregon District last night uh, are alive and, uh, and are safe today. Did you catch that? Congressman Mike Turner, a former Dayton mayor himself, says he got a call at 2 a.m. from his daughter. She and a friend had been across the street when bullets started to fly. Officers stopped Betts' massacre in less than 30 seconds, which makes the death toll so much more unfathomable. It really does tell me a lot about um, local public servants, police, and fire and rescue operations we had. This courage was extraordinary and saved lives, probably hundreds of lives given the situation. And all of us with family and friends in Dayton are forever grateful for these six men, 22 year veterans, Sergeant William, Chad Knight, and officers Brian Rolfus, Jeremy Campbell, Vincent Carter, Ryan Nabel, and David Denlinger. I'm Evan Millward, nine on your side.